so I'm filming in my room once more. I moved the furniture around a lot and I no longer have like a makeup space near my open window. My turtle's cage is now there and um, there's not a lot of room for anything else. So that's why I haven't been filming like makeup things or anything in my room. I've been filming outside but the weather is just so crappy and I really wanted to show you guys this haul that I have. I went to New Jersey and hung out with my friend Stephanie and um, my friend Jenny and Jenny who lives there who's uh, my boyfriend's friend whom I have become friends with um, took me to two places Udelco which is my favorite like kind of thrifting it's not really a store it's like a warehouse and um, we went there we picked up a few bits and bobs and then I went to Gypsy Warrior which I don't know how many people really know um, about it it's an online store and it's like kind of expensive it's like a boutique but they do have like actual like physical stores and one is in a neighboring town um, so like 10 minutes away from where my boyfriend lives and Jenny took me there and I had a uh, one of those like prepaid visa gift cards that I had gotten so I just kind of spent like a hundred dollars but it was worth it I got um, two articles of clothing and some jewelry and it was lovely and then I went to Lord & Taylor also because I had ran out, run out of my serum and I tried the number 7 serum and it was just kind of too thick for my skin because I have slightly oilier skin especially now that it's uh, getting warm so I picked up the serum that I had previous to that which is the um, Estee Lauder Idealist Even Skin Tone Illuminator so I guess I'll, I'll start with this I bought this it was like 90 bucks so that's insane but it just does wonders for my skin and it's like it's pearlescent, so here I will, hopefully the camera will pick that up. So it's really, really illuminating and it adds brightness to your skin and also after a while I really saw different a difference in the like, evenness of my skin tone and a lot of my acne scars like had faded and it just, I liked it so much I had to re buy it again. So I did that. So that's the first part of my haul, but then onto the clothing and stuff that I thrifted um, at Udelco, I got these awesome cut-off Levi shorts and they're slightly big on me they say that they're a 30 waist and they used to be um, they used to be pants but someone cut them off and they're awesome so they're slightly big which is fine I like them that way and they're awesome they just went through the wash and now they're like frayed and stuff so super excited about that I have like four pairs of these now in like different colors and like washes and stuff so that's all I'm wearing this summer. And then, oh my god, you're all gonna piss yourselves when you see this. Um, I paid $10 for the shorts, by the way. And then I got this amazing cropped acid washed denim jacket. And oh my god, I am in love. I don't think it's by Levi's, it's by this company don't know who that is or what that is but it fits so perfectly it's like slightly a little big but it's cropped so it's not like huge like the other vintage Levi's jacket that I steal from my dad and look at that acid washed oh it's amazing I'm so happy so that was also ten dollars and then the last thing I got there were these cool sunglasses and they have, um, sorry I'm moving the chair a little bit, they have this awesome like design on the bridge where the nose is and I think they look nice. I like them. I like them a lot because my friend is stealing my other sunglasses all the time so I needed like an extra pair and I saw these and these were three dollars yeah so I paid twenty three dollars which is all the cash that I had because they don't take credit cards there and yeah, that's what I got thrifting. I really liked it. It's not a lot. My friend Jenny got so much stuff, but everything looks perfect on her. So that's not a surprise. But yeah, and then onto the two items of clothing that I got from Gypsy Warrior, which is super, super awesome. The first is this shirt. And it just looks like this. It's one of those collared neck shirts with no sleeves and then it ties here and it has these cute little buttons and at first I saw this I was like I could get this at, at Forever 21 for like half the price because I this was $30 um, 
but then I tried it on and it just fit like a glove. Like usually if I get something, if it fits my chest, which my, my boobs are kind of larger than they used to be, then it's too baggy on my waist. But this actually fit both my boobs and my waist really, really well. It's like kind of a crop top, so it comes uh, down right below my belly button where it ties. But um, it was really nice and it just fit so well. So I, I figured I'd invest in it because I knew I'd wear it more often because the stuff at Forever 21, it's not the best quality, so it's not gonna fit as well. And then, oh, this, this uh, lovely skirt that I got is um, a waterfall skirt, and if it's hard to show, but it comes down to like mid thigh, so it's not too 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 short, but it's like just the perfect length, and then it billows out in the back, but the the waterfall part of it is sheer, but it has the underskirt which is not sheer, which if I can get to it, or actually yes, it is sheer, like slightly more opaque though, and it just looks awesome, and the two things look so great together, so there's that, and it looks so cool with Doc Martens, which is what I wore it with, and then I got two little bits of jewelry, one, actually one isn't that little, and it <laughs> broke in my purse because I took it off because I was, um, yeah, I, I like, you know, you get to that point in the night where you're like, I don't want to be wearing anything right now. It was that, and I like took everything off, but I was at a friend's house, so I kind of put it away in my purse, and I lost like half my jewelry. But yeah, it's this, and it's slightly broken, but imagine that these things were connected. So it just looks like that, and it was awesome. Highly overpriced, but I really liked it, so I picked it up because I had a gift card, so I figured might as well. And then the last thing that I got is this cute little ear cuff with a feather on it and it's just awesome. It took a while for me to actually get it like to stay on, but once it stayed on, it was it looks really nice. It does make my ear slightly red. But yeah, that's all I got. Um the skirt I believe was $38, so again, slightly overpriced. Could probably get a similar thing in, in Forever 21. I actually have a similar thing from Forever 21, however it's pleated, but it just fits me so well. And, um, yeah, so that, that, that happened. Um, yeah, this is my little haul. Um, I'm not too far into it, so I'm gonna continue to talk a little bit. You can not watch the rest if you don't really care about my blabbering, but I just wanted to tell you what was going on in my life and stuff. Um, I started a new job, or I got a new job. I'm starting on Thursday, and that's gonna be for forever until I don't work there anymore. I'm gonna work at a cash as a cashier at a liquor store that's like a mile away from my house that my stepdad's best friend owns, so that's gonna be awesome. I'm probably quitting my job at the art gallery because it just doesn't pay enough and it is the dullest thing in the world and I just, I don't know, It's it kind of sucks. I'm also gonna be a camp counselor at a local community theater, teaching kids how to act and stuff like that, um, starting mid-June when classes get out and school gets out and stuff like that. So you won't be seeing too much more of me. <laughs> I mean, hopefully, you don't see that much of me anyway, but um, yeah. Also, I have decided to go vegetarian, and it's something that I've wanted to do for a very, very, very long time, ever since I was little, but it's really hard in a household where our, like, main source of food is like meat and stuff and like everyone's like oh america red meat girl um but yeah my, i kind of finally convinced my parents to be slightly supportive of it they still make fun of me but uh yeah that's been going on for about a week and it's going well i've started doing some yoga trying to get in shape so yeah that's what life has has been like how are you guys doing i don't know i hope you enjoyed my haul i keep promising um, a subscriber of mine that I'm gonna do an outfit of the day wearing a crop top, but every time I like pull out a crop top to wear, I just either my high-waisted pants or shorts or anything aren't washed, and like I never do laundry, so there's a cycle that it goes through, like a two-week cycle, and or it's just such crappy weather 
that I, I don't want to film and I just want to be laying around in like just jeans and a t-shirt so it's not worth showing you guys. But hopefully more videos to come. And uh, I say that every video. But, you know, progress, I guess. Um, yeah, that was everything I wanted to say, I think. And thank you for watching. Bye.